camera speed. Now, here is a motion picture film. Good evening and welcome to Real Movies. Tonight's film takes everything you thought you knew about the coming of age genre, holds a gun against its head and pulls the trigger. A reaction to the John Hughes teen films of the 1980s and inspired by Stanley Kubrick, it stars Christian Slater and Winona Ryder. Tonight's film is Heathers. Released in 1989, Heathers was the first film written by Daniel Waters and tells the story of Winona Ryder's Veronica Sawyer, an uncomfortable member of the Heathers, the popular girl clique at Westerberg High. With their perfect outfits, coloured scrunchies and matching names, the Heathers rule the school with a velvet gloved iron fist. They are the definition of bitch. So when Christian Slater's JD arrives to bring a little chaos, Veronica cannot help but be drawn to him. Soon, a spate of apparent suicides sweeps through the high school, but Veronica knows better. The suicides are murders, part of JD's warped war on bullying, a war that he plans to see through to the bitter end, with Veronica by his side. The film was a 180 degree reaction to the films of John Hughes focusing on teen leads that had made stars out of the so-called brat pack including Molly Ringwald and Anthony Michael Hall. Working at a video store it's not difficult to understand where Water's frustration came from. These films were incredibly popular on home video and so, inspired to make what was essentially the anti-John Hughes film, Waters devised and wrote a film that he believed only one man could pull off, his directing hero, Stanley Kubrick. Though he tried, Waters couldn't get the script to Kubrick and eventually agreed to have Michael Lehman direct the film as his first picture. The film would be a challenge to make from start to finish. New World Pictures, who were financing the project, agreed to do so only if the original ending, where JD blows the school to pieces and the students celebrate prom in heaven, was cut. I think they missed a trick there, I would have loved to have seen that. Casting was just as difficult, Winona Ryder had just come off of Beetlejuice and was desperate to play Veronica, but her agent was so dead set against it, fearing her career would be ruined, she got on her hands and knees and begged Ryder not to take the part. She took it. Shannon Doherty, who was cast as Heather Duke, was only 17 at the time and seemed to think she was in a very different film, awkwardly refusing some of the explicit lines. It only dawned on her what kind of a film Heather's was when she saw the completed movie for the first time, at which point she ran out crying. Heather's is as sharp as a knife and twice as dangerous, hanging on the razor's edge of satire with the blackest of comedy that left me laughing hard. The writing is raging and barbed, carefully crafted creating a whole language that is unique and quotable, with a narrative structure so expertly plotted that its genius is only comprehensible by the end credits. It looks like it's been filmed through a haze, adding a dreamlike quality which works perfectly for a film that manages to deal with a number of weighty subjects without dragging or preaching. There's a dig at the patronising Just Say No from Nancy Reagan in the parody Teenage Suicide, Don't Do It, with some of the best monologues in any film as the teens come to pay their respects at the funeral of one of their own. As the teachers blame the film's events on MTV video games, it's pretty clear where the writers and most involved stood on the issues facing young people then as now, that their parents blamed everything and everyone but the true cause, themselves. We've all wanted vengeance on our bullies in life, but Heathers takes that to the extreme and presents the consequences of such violent actions. There is something both horrific and visceral about the image of a young Christian Slater chasing through the woods in a trench coat and jeans with revolver in hand. Slater chose to channel Nicholson in his role and arrives at a character that is everyone's worst nightmare. A damaged young man with a chip on his shoulder, armed with intelligence, nihilism, and explosives. Slater's JD is deranged but his motives aren't entirely unjustified and in a different film you might find yourself rooting for him as an anti-hero. Yet Heathers goes further by exploring abusive relationships along with everything else. 
it's here that the audience's sympathies are directed, with Renona Ryder delivering a capable young woman who doesn't have all the answers and makes bad decisions. She's no Mary Sue, but as she struggles with her physically and mentally abusive relationship with JD, be it through gaslighting or burnt cigarettes, the film creates one of the best character arcs in a coming of age movie. There's no closing kiss, just personal growth. Initially failing critically and commercially, Heathers became somewhat buried over the years. The Columbine Massacre made it feel all too real for most audiences, though it achieved cult status. More recently, the Broadway adaption has brought it back into the cultural zeitgeist, but perhaps has somewhat overshadowed the original source material. Luckily, the cult for Heathers is as strong as ever, bolstered by a whole new generation of fans who discovered it through its musical, which is pretty damn good. It's a bloody brilliant film that subverts expectations and cliches at every opportunity, with a stylized satire all its own. Heathers isn't about teenage suicide, it's about the teenage psyche. So sit back, accept the chaos, after all it did kill the dinosaurs, and keep it cult. This is Heathers.